Cheers, Nekwe. How are you? Fine. <laughs> God has been kind with our family today. Good, yes, good, sir. good. And who is this delight? That's my daughter, Your Majesty. Oh, uh, yes, sir. She's we, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we came in respect of that discussion we had about my daughter marrying your son, Prince Lawrence Oramese. Wonderful, yes. wonderful. Uh, this is. Yes. She has grown. And I discussed it with her. And then uh, she accepted. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Come. My daughter. Come. Oh. Look at you. You are welcome to my royal family. Thank you, my dear. Oh, um, get the logo. As you know, yes. my son, Prince, lives in the United States yes. of America. Um, I shall ring him as soon as possible, and I'm sure he will be most delighted to get the good news. Yes, my dear. Good day, Lord. Ah, you see this pretty young lady. She is the daughter of Iche Nzekwe. The, the one we've been talking about. To marry our son. Yes, she has agreed to marry our son. Oh, my dear. Come and hug your future mother-in-law. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, she's so beautiful. <laughs> From today, you are the princess of this kingdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank the princess. You live in the palace. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I guess I have to take over from here. We have a lot of things to talk about. We have a lot of things. To... Let me just talk about. Just come on. Come on. Yes, yes, of course. Excuse us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes. This is delightful. Yes, yes. I have a very strong belief. Yes. What is it? What do you mean? What is it? I was at your place yesterday and you were not at home. What for? Come on, Tessie. You gave me a date for a traditional marriage introduction and I came with my parents to meet your parents yesterday. Oh, really? Um, I am so sorry. Okay, you will have to find someone else. I'm not interested. As you can see, I'm coming back from the market where I went to do a little shopping because I'm moving to my husband's house tomorrow. We'll be, hold on, hold on, wait. And please, for your information, when next you want to address me, use the word princess. Come on, Tessie, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. I, I can't get you. I did not say too much for you not to understand. All I'm saying is that I am now wife to Prince Lawrence Oraunsi. Do you understand me now? Tessie, you can't do this to me. Tessie, remember the, the, the times we had, the, 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 the good times we shared together in the past. Come on, Tessie, what do you want people to say about me? What impression do you want my parents to have about me? Uwakwe, please. Eh? I'm begging you. I'm talking of the present, you are talking of the past. See, if you continue to bug me, I'll be forced to report you to the Igwe. And he will have no other choice than to banish you from this community. Tessie, you know you can't do that too. Just leave me alone. Tessie. Le what is it? Don't follow me or don't follow me to my house. Leave me alone. Tessie. Tessie.
Mama? Tessie, don't you have conscience at all? Um, how do you mean, Mama? I, I don't understand you. You don't understand me? A few months ago, you brought Wapet to this house, telling us that he's the one that we want to marry. And he was here yesterday with his father, without seeing you and your father. And now, you're packing your things to go to the palace, simply because we are picked to marry the U.S. son. The person that you have never seen before. What is wrong with you? Mama, marriage is by choice. And I have made mine. Anyway, Mama, whether or not you are in support of this, I will pack my things first thing tomorrow morning to Igwe's palace. As his son's wife and as the princess. And what do I tell you when he comes back? Don't worry, Mama. I've already taken care of that. How? What is going on here? Huh? Haven't you finished packing, Teresa? Okay, I'm huh? done. Hurry up. Papa Teresa. Uh -huh. I, I'm not happy with this decision you have taken with Teresa. Ah. How can you uh, support her to marry the great son and dump the Wakwe? And who is Wakwe? Who is Wakwe? Huh? Eh? So you don't know Uwakwe again? He's the one we gave appointment with his father for introduction. They were here yesterday without seeing any of you. Is it fair? Mm -hmm. We trust him packing that thing. Yeah, fine. Don't forget we have something important to discuss. Yes. Mama Teresa, be very reasonable. Be reasonable. Nobody knows Uwakwe in this community. And the fact that our daughter is getting married to Igwe's son makes her a princess. What do we owe Uwakwe? Did he, did he pay anything on our daughter's head? No! And now, Fusi Ebane, Chu also, it's Reba Nalu Ago. Be reasonable! Uh, um, Teresa? Yes, Mama! Let's talk about things that are more important. Oh, my princess. You look so gorgeous. Thank you. Mm. How are you today? Sit, sit. Let me get you an orange. Let me help you. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, princess, immediately after your traditional marriage, you will accompany my son to the United States. <laughs> Lola, who am I? Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome, you. Maria. I just pray I meet up your son's expectation. You will. You will. <laughs> Maidens. Yes, emergency. This is Princess Tessie. She is my son's wife. Henceforth, the four of you will be her maidens. You are going to be responsible for her. You will follow her wherever she goes, take care of her needs. You will be at her beck and call. Is that clear enough? Yes, emergency. Good. Now, you and you, go and get her something to eat. Yes, and both of you should come behind her. Get me an orange, please. Thank you so much, Lola. <laughs> I worked majestically, yes. majestically. Your Highness, do you know people were even greeting and vowing for me? And that's how it should be. Because you are a princess. <laughs> I'm so happy to be in this position. Oh, Thank you so much. You have said nothing yet. 
This is only the beginning. Now you wait until my son comes back, marries you and takes you to the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness, I cannot wait to see that day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Your Highness, please, may I be excused to freshen up? Of course. Um, make sure you eat your food. Thank you. Okay. Yes. I laid my eyes on you. Oh, I have not been able to think of anything else. And uh, it has actually crept into my dreams. I can't. I haven't been able to, to have a proper night's rest. You are always in my dream. Oh, yes. We were very very close. I want you. Your Highness, how can you say such a thing? I'm your son's wife to be. Well, that's the more reason why we should help each other. How long are you going to remain celibate? And I, I, I'm sure you won't be able to cope. But if you help me, then I will help you. Your Highness, I'm surprised at you. I cannot sleep with you. I can't do it. <laughs> My princess, you have forgotten that all the people out there respect you, bowing to you, because you are the princess of this kingdom. I, I made that possible. I, Igwe, I made it possible. There are so many girls, pretty, out there, who are already eyeing your position. Oh yes. <laughs> so it is either you accept my request or you reject it and I replace you and you lose all, all the privileges you have. And remember, my princess, that my son doesn't know you. He will not recognize you. So just think about it, because I shall be back. Yes. Hey! <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> my dear, I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Thank In fact, you. I wish I were you. <laughs> eh? Hi! Thank you. Hey, Tessie, mm. listen and listen very carefully. Whatever that you have to do to retain this golden opportunity of yours, better do it all. I mean, anything that you will do to make the Igwe and Lolo happy, keep on doing it all. Because a lot of our girls have fought for this position that you are in right now. We couldn't get to it. Even me, Nenna. <laughs> You're kidding. I know what I you know me now. You know me very well. This golden opportunity, I won't mess up with it. I know what you can do. Uh -huh. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, <clears throat> have you uh, accepted my request? Your Highness, you are the king. If it will make you happy, your wish is my command. What I'm saying is that I need more money to equip my supermarket in Enugu. And I would like to import the goods myself. Woman, you worry too much. Huh? Every time, money, 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 money. Yes, because I'm a businesswoman and every business needs money. All right. So how much do you want? Uh, just three million naira. Three million naira is just? Very well. Tomorrow I shall give you just three million naira. Oh, <laughs> thank you, my darling. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, my darling. Thank you. <laughs> oh. ah. Your Majesty, my daughter, give me a hug. How are you today? I thank you, Mama. Come. Come and sit on my lap. Hmm. You look particularly luscious today. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm jealous. If you were not my son's wife, I would have beaten you up now. I was only joking. <laughs> are you... Are you going out? Yes, uh, yes, Lolo. I want to stroll with my males. Oh, that's all right. But be very careful, please. Thank you. Excuse me, your Majesty. And uh, don't, don't stay out too late. Your Majesty, this woman here 
which is um, Amelu. He came to my house this early morning with our daughter, Ogadema, and reported that this boy here, Ike Isubedo, raped her daughter. That we all know that in, it's a big crime, serious crime. And even in our tradition and culture, it's an abomination. Uh, so I said that uh, the weight of the case uh, was beyond the consideration of one cabinet member. So I said, let me bring all of them uh, before your majesty and before my fellow elders. Your majesty. Your majesty. Ike Subalo. Did you hear what Ichie Nzekwe has just said? Yes, Ichie. Did you actually rape this girl? Please, it's the devil, it's the devil's work. Hey! I pray it will not happen again. It is the most workshop. I will not do it uh, uh, again. Do you know the gravity of the offense you have committed? We are to be in the law court. The punishment is 21 years imprisonment with hard labor. But in our land. Well, let me reserve my comment. Your Majesty. Thank you. You have spoken well. It is very clear. This useless boy has committed the offense. And, uh, woman, I thank you. I thank you for not going to the police. It shows that you have respect for the Igwe. But before I pass judgment, has anyone else anything to say? Your Highness, I have something to say. But before I say anything, I would want this woman, her daughter, and this boy here to excuse us for a while. All right. Um, please excuse us. Take him out. <clears throat> Your Majesty, I, Ichie Zimuzo, I want to say that I am no longer comfortable with what is happening in Ezio Kingdom. Yes, a lot of atrocities is happening in this kingdom. Rape, stealing, murder, men sleeping with our women, widows, and those living with their husbands. Our daughters now bring us unwanted pregnancies. Our farms no longer yield good crops. Your Majesty, what is happening in Ezio Bodo Kingdom? What is happening in Ezio Bodo Kingdom? Or has any of us here shed blood? Your Majesty, I don't mean to be personal, but all these things started happening. When your majesty assumed the throne of the Lord of the kingdom. Or is it that the gods don't accept your majesty being the Igwe of the Lord of the kingdom? Zimuzo! What are you up to? Who are you? James, who are you? I don't like the position you are taking about hey, what are you are you What happened with witnessing rape and all sorts of atrocities? Who? Who? But which one did he do amongst all that? Is he lying? Thomas, sit down. Whoever has said is lying. I'm not saying that he's 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 lying. I'm not saying
Now you are the truth. So what are you doing? Sit down. What kind of scandalous statement are you making before His Majesty? Monsieur, don't you care? Look at that now. Nobody is a child here. We are all thankful men. Monsieur, don't you care? Hey, Monsieur, don't you care? Oh, si, don't you care? Monsieur, ah, don't you care? Honestly, Zimuzo was right. I don't see anything wrong in what he said. All of us know that what he was saying is right. But he shouldn't... Hey, how are you, my son? Welcome, my son. He shouldn't have said it in the presence of Igwe. Eh? Don't you know that Igwe might expel him from being a member of his cabinet? Uh, no, he can't do that. We will not support him. We will not. Um, what do we do to stop this calamity in our community. What do we do? Are you asking me? Yes, of course. Maybe we should consult the chief priest to tell us what to do. Uh, are you saying that the chief priest does not see all these calamities? That is why I say we should tell Igwe to contact him. That is exactly what we are going to do. I'm saying is that Ichie Zibozo is expelled and ceases to be a member of this cabinet. Your Majesty, things are not done this way. The law of the land states that before a cabinet member is expelled, then the entire cabinet members will come together, discuss the matter openly, and reach a unanimous decision. But I can't remember us discuss anything about this case. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I feel what we should be thinking here is how to contact the chief priest about what is happening in this kingdom. Uh, let him come and tell us because of all these atrocities. Thomas and Abarogo, why are you opposing Igwe's order? The order says that Zimuza ceases to be a member of the cabinet. The Igwe has spoken, and that order stands. If the chief priest comes here, and tells us the reasons for all these calamities, just as Zimuzo said. Then we shall know if the gods are angry with us or not. And then we shall know whether Ichie Zimuzo deserves expulsion or not. Uh, yes. As far as I, Igwe, Ezeka or Anusi, I'm concerned. There is nothing wrong happening in my kingdom. And the chief priest is not coming here to say anything. Do I make myself clear? I have spoken. And so shall it be.
sinachio isimu pure kuno bu sinachio that any time that we go to another village to go and dance, we don't have money when we come back. But if we go to that village, the master will not go to carry plenty money and come back. Uh, how much did we make this? Only 110 naira. Oh. This is like suffering for nothing. But I want that. Eh? Why mama? Forbids us from going to easy with the to back. But see, Papa, let's not listen to my game. Let's be going to that village and be, be making money and be coming back. After all, it's not of us that will the money. My daughter, yeah. let us not disobey Mama for now until we find out her reasons for that. Eh? Papa, me, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. You see all those pretty dance that me, I went to dance there. My waist is spinning me now and we don't even have anything to show for it. I me, mean, I'm not happy. Oh. I am not happy too. But every day is not Christmas. Eh? Uh, 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 okay, don't, don't be annoyed. Eh? Don't be annoyed. Okay, help me go and uh, get me water to wash my leg. Eh? Eh? What is wrong with her, Dugo? She does not look happy. Uh, she's not happy now. We, 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 we didn't get anything from where we went to dance today. Uh, the, poor, the poor girl was dancing, dancing, nothing. Dugo. When you finish what you are doing, you go and get food from the kitchen for your father and yourself, oh? I'm not hungry. But you have not eaten since morning. Eh? Okay. If you're not hungry, get food for your father. Mm, I'm not hungry too. Ele. Omega. Abogoma obanje na bia mo na ku papa. Ab eh. Omaga. Inowe. Alam. Mama. Eh eh. Mama. I've been asking you this question now for a long time and you have not given me a reasonable answer. 
I believe that it is because Adugo is always present. But now that Adugo is not here, Mama, tell me, why do you always forbid us from going to Easy Obodo to dance? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mama, there's something you're not telling me. Bozo. Chibozo. Oh, my God. It's just that that town is evil and I don't, I just don't like them. Mama, you don't just like a whole town like that. Eh? What did they do to you? Eh? Hey, Mir Gigun. Tell me, oh, tell me why you're forbidding us. Because if you don't tell me, we will go there next time and hey, that's, Chibu that Chibu is where we will get money. Chibuza! Mama, we will go there and dance. Chibuza! Mechanaga. Don't go there for anything. Don't go there to dance. Don't go there to beg. Don't go there for anything. Oh, uh, have you not heard about the ongoings in that village? Eh? Young boys rape married women anyhow. Hmm? People disappear mysteriously without any trace. Hada Buba. Had enjoy. I have said that you should not go there again for anything. Do you hear me? It's in on the zero that 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 has evil. Every time has done evil. What kind of Hey, hey, Okudili, come back here. Are you talking to me? You were asking me, what is it? Did you not see me? I don't understand you. Did you greet me? Look at what I'm. Tessie, is anything wrong with you? Tessie, of course. Or oh, have you changed your name? Will you shut up? Are you the only one in this village who does not know that I am a princess? Hey, me, Okudele, shut up. Tessie, you are telling me, Okudele, to shut up. I can see you don't have respect for elders again. Look at you, a girl of yesterday, telling Okudele to shut up. I don't blame you. You have just started to develop wings and they are already flying above the sky. Tell me what will happen when your wings are fully grown. Use less ten. Hey, my man. Me. Useless. Yes, you are a useless ten. Okolili, you call me a useless thing? And, and, and you, you animals, but yeah, when that man told me, you said that you're sorry, I'm 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 sor
you will go to uh, Okudili's house and bring him here by the scruff of his neck. Is that clear? Yes, my Go! How dare you? My lord, you have to take it easy. You know he's a married man. So what? So what? His Highness request your presence at the palace. I hope there's no problem. Let's get to the palace first. Okay, in that case, tell the Igwe that I'll be coming later. Let me drop the lift for my goods. No! You're going with us right now! No! Yeah. Insult my son's wife. You, you. Oh, you thank your lucky star that you are a married man with a wife and children. Otherwise, I would have punished you, punished you completely, never to return. But. You are not going to get away with it. No, you are not going to get away with it. You are going to learn never to insult any member of the royal family. Guards! Lie him down and give him 24 strokes of the cane! Your Majesty, I'm sorry. Your Majesty, I'm sorry. Stay out of this I'm sorry. No, Your Majesty. I am the one he insulted. I will want to do it myself. No, my princess. Lola, please, I will do this. Are you sure, my princess, that you can do it well? Yes, your majesty. Right. Hold this. Let him have it. Hold his hands. His legs. No! Hey! I want to control you! Hey! 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 Honestly, <laughs> you know, you know, you're going to kill me one of these days. I, 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 I can't I can well believe it. Look, look at the way you are just manipulating my body like, like a baby. Look at you. Hey! <laughs> you were so strong. Hey. You know, sometimes I begin to wonder if you are this strong, then how would my husband be? Uh, let's uh, leave him out of it. How, how do you mean? I'm talking about my husband and you said we should leave him out of this. Uh -huh. Tell me, what do you think of what happened today to Okudili? Serves him right. Next time, he would learn to respect me. The princess of the Zeobrodo kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my princess, what we did to him today was not good. Yes. But I allowed it to happen just to make you happy. And what we are doing is a taboo. But I'm doing it just to make you happy. <laughs> Come on. Now. Look at you. Yeah. Who is it? Lolo. I'm, I'm coming. Sleeping already? 
I came so that we can talk about what happened earlier today between you and that man. O Okudele. Your yeah, Highness, you know, what happened was. Please, very, very please, can we discuss this some other time? Man? I feel really sleepy. <sighs> Very well then, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Don't forget to lock the door. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Yes, cultural dance will be wonderful. Yeah. Our people are doing a lot of preparations. Masquerades, cultural dance and fashion parades. See, yeah. you know, I even heard our parents are going to play football. Eh? I'm telling you. Football? <laughs> our fathers and mothers. I'm telling you. That means they have to arrange for an ambulance to stand by the field that day. Oh, God, the But I wonder what those who are blind in this village will do. They will miss a lot. I pity them all. Especially the father of one of us here. They don't even have money to buy things for the preparation unless they went back and talk more of with the nursing education. Iberi, you're a very stupid girl. You're a very useless girl for saying that kind of a thing. You're very stupid. When you know, did I mention anybody's name? Ah. I know that you're referring to me because my father is blind and because we do not have any money for the preparation. Iberi, Always remember that you are not our God. You are not. Hey, baby, you think I don't know you're talking to me? Hmm? Who are you trying to deceive? Who are you trying to deceive here? Okay, please, I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry for yourself. Get out. Be oh. talking anyhow. You're very stupid, girl. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Your sister in here. Get out. Okay. Stupid girl. See your mouth. So everything is alright. Yeah. See you some other time. Okay. Sir. Take care of yourself. Okay, bye-bye. Alright. Hello. Excuse me, young lady. Okay. Yeah. My name is Jonathan. I'm based in Kaduna. Please, what is your name? My name is Adugo. Are you from this village? Yes. <laughs> Any problem? Nothing actually. Who are your parents? Why are you asking me all these questions? Just tell me and I will tell you the reason why I'm asking. I'm from the Ophelia family. Ophelia family? Anything else? Excuse me. Please, can I ask for one thing? What is it? You see, the moment I saw you, there was a peace in my heart that was so instantaneous and completely unexpected. You see, there was a conviction in my heart. I do, girl, would not like to dilly dally. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? I do, go. Yes, Mama. You mean a man just stopped you on the way, just like that? And asked you to marry him? Hmm. So what did you tell him? I told the man to come and see you and Papa. Mm. Um, okay. I do, go on. Mm. If they come, what will you tell them? Will you accept to marry him? 
Ma, if I accept to marry them, who will not take care of you and Papa? Who will carry Papa out to go and dance? You know that Nana is in missionary school. You cannot leave school and come and help you people. How do you go? You know that is not the issue here. Am I not here? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so when did these people say they are coming? Next for market day. In my own opinion, I will advise that that marriage should wait until I deal with one problem. Problem? Which problem again? Mama, you know you always like talking with us. Eh? Which problem now? Look, you won't understand. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Tell me, Mama, when will I understand this, your riddle? Which day will I understand this, your riddle? Eh? Okay, okay, okay. Are you saying that Adugo shouldn't marry now? Eh? That's not what I'm saying, no. Eh? Not like I'm. Anyway, let them come. Let our suitors come. I'll know what to do. You're sweet. Mm, I like this. You're wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. No, you you deserve everything. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Teresa. <laughs> oh, Mama, the mother of the princess, Princess Thessy Nzekwe Oranisi. Will you shut up and let me talk? So this is all you want. Putting on all these things that make you look like a masquerade. Oh, Mama. Tessie. Okudeli told me yesterday that you flung him mercilessly at Igwe's palace. Is it true? Yes. Why would he see me and not greet me properly? Mama, he did not even recognize my royalty. Not just that. He told me that I am a useless thing. Just listen to yourself. So if somebody did not tell you, you will not know that you are a real useless thing. Mama, Mama. Flogging a married man with children. Papa Teresa. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can you listen to your daughter? Here yeah, I am on what? On what? Anyway, why am I even talking to you? She's taking your full stop. Thank you very much. Teresa! Before I cross! And open my eyes, you would have disappeared from this place. Mama, is, is this not my father's compound? Okay, your father's compound. Wait. Just go to his father's house. See you there. Oh, please, please, please. Papa, what did I do? What did I do? Papa, I'm doing this because of you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you realize this is not just our daughter, but a princess? A princess! Princess, my foot! Our 
Papa Benzi of the kingdom. Our king is blind. Listen and listen carefully, people of Ezebola Kingdom. Our king is blind. What is the matter? Why, why are you shouting and rushing into my palace? Your Majesty, can you see me? Can you see us? Are you mad? What kind of a question is that? Ah, Your Majesty, you mean you can see us? Ichie Thomas, what is going on? He won't call me by my name. Why, why, are you, why are you all barging in on me, unannounced? Un, 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 Your Majesty, what is going on? What is the problem? We just saw the chief priest, uh, chief priest going around the whole town, shouting and saying that our Igwe is blind. It's this Igwe that is blind. Why we are here? You know what the problem is? Many others are still coming. What is the meaning of that? That idiot, Your Highness. This is not time for questions. Can you see all of us here now? Of course I can. There's nothing wrong with me. I can see you all very, very clearly. Your Majesty, uh, uh, prove it. Yes, yes. Prove, prove it, it to us. Yes, prove it to us. Yes. Okay, come here. Come here! Are you not, uh... E.J. Thomas? Ah. Are you not Abanogo? It's me. Zekwe... Nse Atoni Ike. Are you satisfied? Your Majesty, what kind of embarrassment? Exactly! What kind of a stupid, idiotic embarrassment! And I will not take it! God! Yeah. Your yeah. Majesty, now go and get me that name come to. That idiot who calls himself the chief priest! Immediately! Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. I have to deal with it! Hmm. Um, you said you work in Kaduna? Yes, I am based in Kaduna. That is where I work. Mm -hmm. My son. Sir. I cannot see you. But from your voice, I know you're a good man. I'm a very handsome boy too. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I know you will treat my daughter well. Yes. You're welcome. Hello. Hey, Jim. Um, please, excuse us. Okay. My son, come. Jonathan. Papa. Do you realize what you're about to do? How do you mean, Papa? Can't you see that the girl's father is blind? Do you want to marry the daughter of a blind man? And so what? You're asking me. You're asking me. Do you know if uh, blindness is in their lineage? And if so, one of your children, if not all, will be blind too. God forbid. So, what do we do now? This marriage will not work. It will not work. Mm. 